the winner of the Lush Bath Set. We were in the middle of shooting and the fire alarm started going off. And we, don't, we still don't know if there's like an actual fire that was upstairs because there was like extension cords and stuff by lights and I don't know, so. Ah, okay, now after the fire alarms and everything, we're all good. What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to day, day three of Vlogmas. I'm actually on set right now, so I figured what better thing to do than act like we're teachers giving you guys advice. So, you know, <laughs> this is Destiny, if you guys didn't know. I asked you guys some questions on Twitter and let's just get right into it. How do you not crumble under pressure when you're in such a big spotlight? Social media has made us think that we all have to be perfect. Dang, that's a really good question. I would say how we don't crumble under pressure is that if you feel pressure or you feel stressed out and you have weight on your shoulders, I would say if it's something that you can't just push to the side or it's something that you, that you can't get over or get through right at that moment, I would say like try your best to just get through it as fast as possible. But if you can, like I would say just like taking the weight off of your shoulders and not stressing about it because at the end of the day, like your mental health is way more important than like a job you have to be at on time or if you're stressing about like, you know, your take grades or whatever it is, take a day to yourself. Like, the main thing I do is spend time away from my phone or mm -hmm. spotlight. I just make sure I have time to mm -hmm. calm down. Even if it's just the 10 minutes before I go to bed, put my electronics away, like hang out with my boyfriend, just breathe. <laughs> Break, Starbucks is here. Oh yeah, I got the Starbucks. We got the goods. How do you know if you're trying too hard to get a boy to like you? Okay. Oh. You go first. <laughs> I do this too. Um. <laughs> yeah, you do this. That's what I was pointing at. I you. do this. Um, talking to a guy too much. Like, give him his space, you know? And I would say like, if you're always the first person to reach out yeah. or you're, you're always Snapchatting him back and you're the one like being like, oh my God, our Snapchat streak is like about to end. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, I do that too. Every girl yeah. does that. Cause Every Snapchat girl. streak is like the thing. Okay, I would say don't try it all because yeah. let them come to you. Exactly. <laughs> because honey, if you know your worth and you know that you are the hottest tamale in town, mm -hmm. that he needs to be coming chasing to you. after you. Okay, so I've been having bad test anxiety lately and my grades are slipping. I talk to my teachers, counselors, and principal and they just say study more and go to tutoring, but that's the that's not the problem. When I go to take a test, I forget everything I studied. Have any advice? Freeze up. Oh, I hate that so much. My teachers would give me like a little pass to like write little cheat sheets. It's like a little flashcard to like main things that you need to remember. Just put like the, the main topic and then it'll shoot right back into your brain and you'll remember. True. I never thought of that either. I struggled with this, of course. I like, everything goes in one ear and out the other with me. Uh, okay, the main thing is when I was studying or when I was in school, I can't focus on anything other than that topic and what the teacher's saying because if I'm looking at my phone and I'm worrying about what I'm doing after school, worrying about like this boy or like anything else, if I'm studying and I'm, I'm halfway studying, checking Twitter, halfway studying. Like, mm -hmm. you just have to put all your mind into that one thing so that you can't focus on anything Blast else. Blast the music. Put a book in front of you. What should you do if you're stuck on an X? Oh, just slay. Show him what he's missing, you know? Show him that you're better without him. Sounds so much easier said than done. Yeah. But, but I did it. I did it. She I did, did it. it. My friends, everyone has done it. Okay, my main thing that I would say is it's not you like i don't know what your situation but the whole like friends thing just doesn't work because you'll continue to have feelings for that person every yeah. time you see them so either don't like cut them off i would say don't see them for like six months your feelings will completely fade like you'll see your ex block them on and everything at one moment that person you look at them and you just want to like just like jump into their arms and you want to love them so much mm -hmm. but then like a couple months later after not seeing them like you will see your ex in public and be like What's up? Like, oh, how are you, bro? Like, you like that person just won't no even feelings. look. Your whole past, like, with that person Gone. just didn't exist. And I would say, like, unfollow. Don't see his name anywhere. Don't yeah. see his photos. I don't. I don't believe in really deleting photos because unless you're really hurting over the photos. Mm -hmm. But I believe in memories, and I believe in 
keeping yeah. those, but I did delete like a lot, but obviously not everything. I went through that and just like look at where I'm at now. Like I'm with mm -hmm. my dream boy getting treated like a queen. A and queen. I, and I was stuck over an ex at one point. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just believe that there's always something better for you. Like I yeah. knew my worth. And then as soon as I knew my worth, I found someone that doubles that. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna get that soon. How do you deal when you have acne on your face or don't know how to cover it? Like I hate going out because I look weird. She just told me, she was like, I have acne scars. And I'm like, yeah. girl, I'm um, like, girl, you did that to yourself. You picked your face. He knows that. I don't know pick that. your face. I eat so bad. I do sleep. I don't drink water. I have a clean face because I don't Skin's touch my perfect. face. I don't sit in school and have like my hand on my cheek. I don't touch my face. I do this all like, the time. Like, exactly. I'm like, I don't do that. Like, just don't touch your face. Don't overly lotion. Different it. chemicals just different and chemi all it's that. It's just so hard on your face. Use a very good moisturizer. I suggest going to a dermatologist, getting a recommendation. <laughs> like, some ways to know you're in a toxic relationship. Toxic can mean a lot of things. By this question, it kind of sounds like you know you're in one. When you have to question yeah. it, yeah. you have to question your relationship and question like when it changes to a point where you're not happy. So this kid and I think each other are cute. Sometimes he gets too shy to talk to me, but how come he can talk to other girls but not just me? Because he has feelings for you. Because yeah. he's scared. He's too shy to talk, talk to you. He obviously thinks that you're way out of the league or mm -hmm. he, you're way out of his league or whatever it is that like he feels intimidated by you. Mm -hmm. And I would say just break the ice or break the barrier. Like say, hey, what's up? Yeah. Just, just, just start a conversation. Just make yourself more approachable. How to find friends in school. We'll do two more. Be yourself, really. And then if they, if they dig you, they dig you. If they don't dig you, they don't. Kind of the same so. thing, like just make yourself approachable yeah. and be a nice person, have a smile on your yeah. face. Don't be like down and dumb. You're don't sad. worry about yeah. being in a group. Yeah. You have your education to worry about. Yeah, and friends will come, Yeah, come and go. Wait, why does he say that I'm the only one he likes but goes off DMing my friends? Whoa. Then girl, that's your proof right there. Yeah, just <laughs> cut him off. How do I build confidence? and like happiness. I kind of hate myself so much. Literally ended up trying to self-harming and all that stuff. Ha, love you. That's have you have you ever been like that low? That like you just think that yes. there's nothing else for you? Yes. Who are you feeling and how did you get through it? Cause obviously she, you don't. I, I used to get bullied. I would get very self-conscious about myself. I'd want to change things about myself. Then I realized I can't, I can't really change anything. Like how I started gaining confidence with myself is just honestly like taking selfies and just making, forcing myself to post them because all the feedback I would just get is love like, yourself. all the feedback that I would be getting is, oh my gosh, you're so pretty. Like, mm -hmm. and I would never think that about myself. I thought like I had no confidence. I had nothing. And that's me still. But also like guys look at destiny every she knows everybody tells me that I am so pretty on this and that and I'm like I don't see what you see. I look at myself every day. I see every flaw I see Okay, but I saw your whole snapchat story last night of eight I million videos. I was feeling myself Okay, okay. so okay. I was wearing so maybe, makeup. So maybe it's even that just like put on your favorite outfit put on your favorite like glam song. look your favorite song and freaking just Jamming. have the time of your life. That's how you'll build confidence. The main thing is when you feel good about yourself, you'll get there. You will get there, I promise. Mm -hmm. It takes a long time to get confident in yourself. I didn't get confident until maybe two years ago. I guess after high school and dealing with bullies and jealous girls in the groups, growing up is so hard. And especially in this generation of social media, people and like the elect's friends and like everything like that. Like I was on a trip mm -hmm. with my friend and she was like so down about herself. She was like, all these boys, like people like Alexis Ren. So I took her phone and I unfollowed Alexis Ren. I was like, you don't need to see this. You don't need to feel down about yourself. You don't mm -hmm. need to see what every other girl is doing because you're not a twig. Doesn't mean that you're not beautiful. Sorry, one more. I keep saying one more, but like, I just <laughs> want this to be like a long, great talk yeah. video. How do you deal with not seeing your boyfriend all the time? I just went two days without seeing my boyfriend and I could imagine. it like sucked. Yeah, so like I get it. Also, like I can't complain. Like there's people who have long distance relationships and see their boyfriend maybe twice a year. I can't imagine what that is like. All right, guys, and that wraps up today's video. 
if you guys liked it, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And after this, you guys will see what the giveaway is for today and see how you can win it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new video. Bye, love you. Bye. So starting from today's video, I'm going to be announcing the past giveaways winner so you guys know that this is all real and you can hear your name in the video if you won. So the winner of the Lush Bath Set will be getting this box right here is oh that was good is Emily Grace because she said I want to win the Lush set because I don't really like to take baths I like showers so these products will be perfect for me I subscribed hit the notification bell followed you on Instagram and commented on your recent Instagram so congrats to Emily Grace I will be DMing you right after this but now today's giveaway prize is this Victoria's Secret Bombshell Perfume. And if you want to win this, then all you guys have to do is subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, like and comment on this video why you want to win this, and then for an extra little push, you can follow me on Instagram at Jordan Jones and comment on my recent Instagram post why you want to win this, and I will be announcing the winner in tomorrow's video. If you guys like this video, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow with a new video. Wait. Look at all the giveaways in the future. I know. It's a lot. Who wants it's a the lot. AirPods? Ah. It's coming. Ah. It's coming. Stay ah. tuned.